pastor allegedly kills and buries his wife in a shallow grave in Akwa Ibom. The founder of Omega World Global Ministry in Ekot Abbas, Akwa Ibom State, Pastor Enoch, has been arrested for allegedly killing his wife and burying her in a shallow grave. It was gathered that the suspect was arrested following a curious move by the youth of the community led by the OYC president comrade F. Young Johnson. According to reports, the wife had been missing for over two weeks, so the youth swung into action and got a confession from the suspect. The suspect allegedly confessed to killing his wife and burying her in a shallow grave. He later led the youth to the grave, where the decomposed body of the woman was exhaled. <laughs> They say shall never, I will never cease to occur. As in, you call yourself a man of God, an ordained man of God. And I am asking a question now. And as in, is it God that called you, or you are the one that flashed God? Because I am trying to decipher how an ordained man of God, a Christian, will just have to think. You consider this kind of thing, and you end up killing your wife. You committed murder. That is number one. If that is not enough, you have to go and dig a shallow grave to bury your wife. First thing is to commit the mother. Second is to dig that shallow grave and the third is to bury and consider all these things until you are caught. Just look at the face of the man. Even me, I can't even attend a church that has this kind of face of a man as a pastor. What is he teaching us? I don't even understand. Did this one even attend any Bible school? I just look at the banner of his church. So if he was not caught, as nobody will ever know that this man killed his wife. And maybe he would have been just hiding everything. May God forgive us so. And I pray that you face the law. And just because you do this crime, you will do the time. So that next time, or if you are ever next time in your next life, you will have sense. And moving on, it's not only this pastor that killed his wife. I think men are now just killing women up and down. Once a woman commits a crime by being in love with a man, how you guys now appreciate love is by killing the person. Another person just just killed his engaged fiance. The late NSCDC officer was killed by her fiancé to avoid repaying the 14 million she gave him. Christopher Appam, the 45 year old, who allegedly murdered his fiancé, Josephine Cynthia, a few days to their wedding in Benio State, committed the hideous crime to avoid paying the 14 million naira debt, the police said. The victim, who was a staff of National Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSDC, was killed and buried in a shallow grave in December 2019. Parading the suspect on Wednesday, June 16, the first public relations officer, Frank Ambassade, late on chair, was in a relationship with Christopher, who had professed love and promised to marry her. In the course of the relationship, several financial transactions took place, and it is believed that on chair has handed over a large chunk of money to her lover. Between December 19 and 20, 2019, Onche has visited her lover who lured her to the house of a native doctor in Benio, where she was murdered. Her body was taken to a forest where she was buried in a shallow grave. He has promised to pay the native doctor 5 million naira out of the 40 million naira he collected from Onche. The killer said. Hey, the only crime this particular person now committed is just to be in love. She fell in love with this man. And in the process of this relationship, this woman has been giving this man money. He will transfer this particular money. It will transfer this particular money. And remember, in all this term, this woman has never, ever asked this man about this money. Yet she is moving ahead to marry this man, irrespective of everything. So this man, you would even know if she has already forgiven you. She has never asked you about the money. Then instead of you to just go ahead with the marriage and just wait on until she start asking you about the money. The next thing you plan to do was just to kill this woman and just kill this woman so that you will not pay all the millions that she has been borrowing you. Now we have killed her. The family now has lost a helper and everything. The friends are looking for her since December 2019 and after a year yet you were caught and you were not confessing. What is really going on? What is going on in this country? Why? Why? So the only crime women now commit is just being a woman and falling in love. It does not even end there. There's another one that is circulating. I couldn't just bring the video here to avoid copyright issues. Ah, another man confessed to kill another single mother of four children. The only crime this particular woman committed again is just because she wants to purchase a land. 
she now made this man say okay i want to buy a land room and that was it too that is the only crime so after they now met to buy the land this man has to go knife with his friends and they said okay they are going to meet up and kidnap the woman so when the woman now wanted to go and survey the land this man has planned with his friends they're now going to hide in the same bush of where the man will show the woman the land and when they got there after showing the woman the land the next thing the friends are kept from the bush and they kidnapped this woman just hear him confessing that yes we kidnapped the woman and they gangrate the woman and after they did what they have to do they have to kill the woman kidnapping is not enough you people taking her turn and turn and after turn is not enough and you still kill the woman so while you guys are killing the woman what were you thinking that will happen to the four children that this Suma is single-handedly training and feeding because like we just heard she is a single mother of four ah may Lord just serve them all oh, you guys must do this time but i'm asking a question why 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 are you all doing this thing why why please just for me not to just end and leave a bitter test in all you guys mouth i just have to entertain you guys with this video clips as we move on <laughs> That is MC I go talk. Of course, if you understand Igbo, if you just like to be entertained in Igbo dialect, you should know MC I go talk. Of course, after Zuri Michael went back to Lagos, after he flew down to Asaba with Zuri, with David o, he has to come back down again to Anisha for another show. And while they are waiting for the show proper, this video clip has to happen. And moving on, before the next video clip, it is time for me to remind you that my only obligation and assignment on my beautiful and entertaining channel is to bring to you celebrity news updates using sliding photos and video clip content of your favorite celebrities simply for information values and entertainment purposes as i bring to you guys the bts called behind the scene of the movie shanty town while children mokeme is dancing with my main spirit ah ah this man get my do he came for fortification and he ended up to working with the marine spirit enjoy the video clip yeah. the marine spirit oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. are you listening damn of all these murderers killing their wives and their engaged fiancé. Let me also make you entertain with, of course, the current video clips of Zubi Michael and actor Chedi Wonkene. I believe that you were entertained and that eradicated the sour and bitter test I left in your tongue. And if this is the first ever video you are watching on my channel, okay, you love entertainment and that made you come across my channel if you start with quietly, please promote and publicize my channel by simply clicking on the red icon down below to 
subscribe to my channel and do not fail to turn on the notification bell and with that i say it is a wrap on today's entertaining entertainment hope you were entertained of course you will drop your comments and share your thoughts in the comment section concerning these trending modern cases on the entire social media platform love and light from my